ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी टुडे आई वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री वन ऑफ दिक्स सेमिस्टर सिलेबस टुडे विल बी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एन एफिशियंट ग्रीन सिंथेसिस ऑफ ए कॉम्पोस्टेबल एंड widely applicable plastic that is also called polylactic acid made from corn so why <coughs> this one is necessary the plastic should be biodegradable we know that the packaging industries are mainly package their goods by some polymer uh, they are uh, always not the bio friendly or eco friendly then is they are not decomposed very easily so the packaging industry always trying to replace the uh, petrochemical based plastic with some biodegradable plastic that means which can degrade within a short time and the uh, avoid we can avoid the use for the petrochemical based polymer so and of course it should be our safety reason and as far as industry it should be economic obviously an economic ground otherwise uh, they can expect it if the uh, cost of the products is very much then they are not interested about them so biodegradable polymer means the polymer will degrade itself with the help of the natural uh, action of light or other uh, bacteria or the uh, natural species other natural species that degradation process include the structural and mechanical changes which are gradually convert itself into water and carbon dioxide we know that uh, these are the two very much uh, eco friendly species water and carbon dioxide uh, and this process is mainly owing by the oxidative oxidative degradation via the intermediacy of biomass and the humic material humic materials means bhaya uh, the humic materials means it can be formation from soil uh, peat coal uh, which are the major organic compounds present in that these are called the humic material or humus uh, from humus it will come from the humic material so bhaya the uh, biomass and humic materials this uh, polymer can be converted into h2o and carbon dioxide so this is the aim of the preparation of a bio polymer so in this cases we has the pla polylactic acid so clearly from the name uh, it will be prepared from the lactic acid <coughs> and we know that lactic acid uh, is the monomer of that poly pla that is uh, polylactic acid uh, it is a compostable biodegradable polymer made from natural source that means which can be renewable so the monomer that is lactic acid can be renewable from the nature and these polymers are the thermo plastic not the thermocyclic this is thermoplastic in nature uh, thermoplastic in nature this polyacetic acid is aliphatic polyester which is derived from lactic acid which produced from renewable resource that is corn so it can be prepared from lactic acid Uh, that means to name that lactic acid and it can be prepared from corn or meal so we know that these are the two renewable uh, renewable by the nature so we can prepare lactic acid again and again and the polylactic acid can be formed there now here the thermoplastic and there one is thermo setting plastic is there so the thermo there is difference between thermoplastic and thermo setting plastic main difference is thermoplastics can be totally reversible and repeatable so we can change it is from one to another but in the thermo setting plastic those are the <coughs> one it was set it cannot be give to another set that's why it is irreversible nature and not the eco friendly but in this cases the thermoplastics are eco friendly <coughs> and this is totally reversible and repeatable so now how we can prepare this pl what is the preparation of pl 
So there are the three methods for the preparation of the LA, the preparation, or we can call the synthesis, the preparation of uh, polyactic acid. So there are uh, three kinds of polymer, but uh, the how how the biopolymers are classified, first I told that, then you come back here. So well known biopolymers are the starch, cellulose, which are based on the carbohydrate. We know the structure of the starch and uh, cellulose. And other one are silk and gelatin, which are uh, the proton type. That's a protein type, which have come from the proteinic material or uh, proto protein type material from this type. Now, <coughs> the monomer is derived from nature and uh, polymerized by a chemical method to the polylactic acid. So, it can be treatment from lactic acid to polylactic acid, it's chemical treatment it gives this one. And another one, Polymers can be produced by the microorganism, by the treatment of microorganism, genetically modified bacteria to form the PHB or other. So first PLA was made in 1932, uh, made in 1932, uh, Caruthas first synthesized it from the thermal polymerization of lactic acid. Thermal polymerization of lactic acid. So this is the preparation of PLA from lactic acid by thermal polymerization used by the Caruthas in 1932. And he used uh, the uh, removal of water under vacuum. So here this one is happens here removal removal of water under vacuum vacuum so under the uh, vacuum water will be eliminated and PLA is forms and it is a condensation polymer forming polyester functionally with the removal of water. So I can uh, give the uh, reaction of this first preparation of PLA from the lactic acid. So if the lactic acid are specific configuration just like this one, so I can use the is lactic acid that is C double bond OH and here this will be OH is above that plane. So this L called the L lactic acid. L lactic acid. And we consider this as the S configuration. Find it, it will be S configuration. So under that condition, if the water is eliminated from here, under the heating and vacuum. Under the heat and vacuum, then it will form the corresponding Polymer looks like this CH3, this double bond O, and O will be here. Then this one is this, and again oxygen. This unit is actually repeating here. This unit is actually repeating here, and the OH will be looks like this, and here the CH3 is below the plane. That will be the CH3 below the plane and from this the CH3 and another is C double bond OH. Here this CH3 will be above the plane. So if you calculate this, this is also S and this is also S. So configuration is retained here. Only the elimination of water is done there. So configuration does not change. Here that's S remains S here. Actually this is the low molecular weight low molecular weight PLA. Actually this one is called low molecular weight PLA and this will be the first preparation of this one. So uh, pure L lactic acid is used in the production here. So this would be pure here. Generally uh, this one is used as a pure form uh, from the bacterial fermentation and this will obtain from and this will obtain from where? This will obtain from the carbohydrate I will show you later how this one is prepared 
from the carbohydrate to the lactic acid. So produced from the carbohydrate by bacterial fermentation. Okay, so it will be prepared from uh, bacterial fermentation. So we need to ferment. So we need uh, some condition uh, that this, there are two types of uh, bacteria. There is homofermentive bacteria and another one is uh, of course heterofermentive bacteria. Homofermentive bacteria produces only lactic acid whereas homofermentive bacteria, if the bacteria use the homofermentive in nature, then it can form the lactic acid and alcohol from milk sugar that is the Lactose. Lactose is actually milk sugar present in the milk, that one is called lactose. So, so commonly bacteria is lactobacillus genus, follow the homofermentive mechanism to produce the corresponding, to produce the corresponding L lactic acid and which has a little side effect. So what is the condition for this bacterial fermentation? What is the condition? The temperature should be temperature should be 38 to 42 degree centigrade 32 to 40 degree centigrade and uh, a pH range between 5.4 to 6.4 5.4 to 6.4 so in this condition and low concentration of low concentration of oxygen so oxygen concentration should be lower so this is actually the condition how we can uh, carry out the bacterial fermentation of carbohydrate to produce the corresponding pure l lactic acid so usually fermentive process is a superior over synthetic method why because for large scale preparation the economy uh, uh, should be in our mind and production of lactic acid with respect to both purish and production cause both will be affected by this bacterial fermentation. So now how we can synthesize PLA in other methods. So we can synthesize PLA by the another three methods. Okay. So first method is direct uh, preparation. So now another chemical treatment to give the PLA from the LA. So, PLA can be synthesized in three ways, that is direct condensation. So, first one is direct, first one is direct condensation, okay, first one is direct condensation. Uh, direct condensation uh, can be carried out or accomplished by intermolecular stratification using some solvent. So, some solvent present there and intermolecular stratification was done. So expulsion of water formed from polymerization takes place under high vacuum and high temperature. This process usually produces low molecular weight PLA. As I told there, and so molecular weight is 1000 to 5000 Dalton. Dalton is the uh, unit for molecular calculation, molecular weight of polymer. So high molecular weight, that is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 4 Dalton of PLH which are generally used for the packing industry. So this one is more important that is high molecular weight, uh, high molecular weight PLA, high molecular weight PLA and its value is generally 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 4 uh, Dalton. So this can be made, used by packing industry and how this can be prepared, okay. so come to the process. So this will be two process. This was the number process. This is direct condensation. It gives only the low molecular weight of uh, low molecular weight polymer. But we have to be prepared high molecular weight PLA because this is used um, for packing in the packaging industries. So first, this in second, that is direct catalyzed induced polymerization can be performed in solution with an azeotropic removal of water. So this one is the second preparation. And third, polymerization through, okay. So the second one is uh, nothing but the direct catalyzed induced polymer. Direct catalyzed induced 
induced polymerization. Direct catalyzed induced polymerization. Now come to the number three uh, that can be prepared again high molecular weight PLH by using <coughs> this one. That is number three, and it will be from polymerization of uh, through lactide formation through lactide formation. Through lactide formation. So, this was the term used in these cases. So, lactide, uh, this one is most popular also, okay. So, it's most popular and it will be uh, most useful, most popular. This one is the most popular method, is this one, which is used in the industry. So lactide is a cyclic dimer. So first of all, we have to know what is lactide or what kind of lactides are uh, may possible. Okay. So lactides are the dimer of lactic acid. So uh, lactide is dimer of the lactic acid. So we may treat this as a dimer of lactic acid. Dimer of lactic acid is the lactide. So uh, that is by two molecules of lactic acid and elimination of one molecule of water produces the uh, lactide. So, first of all, lactide will elimination by two molecules of water from the mixture of this one. So, if we use that is DL lactic acid, that means this OH, CH3 is present here and the OH is present here. So, let it DL lactic acid. We treat this as a plus minus. Okay. So it's DL lactic is and heated. We have got three different kind of. If we heated this one, uh, from this we got produces the three stereoisomers of the lactide. Okay. So three stereoisomers of the lactides are possible uh, from the formation of this one. That is. <coughs> First one is this one that is C double bond O and this one is oxygen and this one is again C double bond O, this one is oxygen and this. So first of all is CH3 and here is another CH3. This one is actually the L lactide. This one is actually the L lactide, which is L lactide is nothing but SS, so you may treat this with the SS. So SS configuration is possible for the L lactide. And plus, I may written here, plus it will be forms the corresponding oxygen, C double bond O oxygen. And so the, the, both the are above the plane, that is CH3 and both of them are above the plane. This will actually call the B lactide or RR. So this is the RR lactic acid is known as B lactide. And another one is possible here that is written here that is B oxygen should be here, oxygen should be here, oxygen should be here, C double bond O, double bond O and one CH3 is above the plane and another is below the plane. So clearly this one is Mesolactide. Okay, this one will be mesolactide. So clearly, this will be R, or this will be S, -S. or it will be S. That will be R. That is will be S. It will be R. That means this one will be R S. So the, actually, they are, these are called the L lactide. These are called B lactide, and these are called the mesolactide. So three kind of lactide can be formed here. Now. You can use from this a polymer, from this a polymer, and from this a polymer. So why we use the L lactide as the formation of polymer that will be termed as okay. So if L lactide is used here, L lactide and polymerize, 
then we've got this uh, this one is called poly l letter this is p l and l understand that is the p l poly lactic acid and the poly l lactic acid lactide acid and this l it stands for the complement acid then if we use the d lactide then the polymerase it will be p then it will be of course d and it will be l d l now if we use the uh, inactive polymer so that means the mesolactide if we use the mesolactide for the polymerization we can isolate them and get a, we can uh, polymerize differently and then in this cases we got p d l and l okay so d l stands for the corresponding racemization of the other actually these are the two called the isotectic isotectic means they are geometry just same because it may be ss here this may be ss or it may be rr so their geometry and crystalline flaking are very regular and special arrangements of groups in the polymer so they are very much crystalline and these are very good for the uh, preparation of this one that's why this one these prepare are called isotectic okay isotectic polymer and this one is also called the syndactic polymer now so these two are very useful for the preparation of the polymer because they are stereo regularity and it will be more crystalline okay that will be more crystalline this is called the isotectic polymer so how we can convert and that is the mechanism uh, for the uh, l lactide into the corresponding polymer how we can uh, carry out it that can be shown by the following reaction mechanism okay. so first of all we have to be use the uh, catalyst so what's induced catalyst are used here these are actually called ring opening polymerization of l lactide so ring opening polymerization of l lactide we used the catalyst here or the induced that is catalyst used in these cases you may ask write down the catalyst used for this one that is sn oct and hodgo its chemical name is there uh, previously i have told that we can uh, use the l lactide or other in presence of induced or ca induced catalyzed reaction gives the corresponding polymer so what is the name of this one this is named is tin because this is there tin 2 its oxidation state of tin is 2 here and 2 ethyl 2 ethyl uh, hexanoid so this is actually the hexanoid so this is the chemical name of the uh, catalyst used when we induce the ring opening polymerization of this one It is simply written as a same O C T hole to the octyl is broken, and this is produces a uh, uh, cases low degree of racemization and low toxicity. The polymer produced using this one uh, can be used in food industry. So, what is the uh, mechanism or reaction scheme? I'll show it. first of all this one is the lactide oxygen and another oxygen so this will be the your ch3 and this will be the ch3 ch3 is present here this is nothing but the there nothing but lactide so when this one is treated with sn oct it will give some specific type of addition uh, i will written r r stands for growing of the polymer chain so this will give such kind of it can be uh, carried out by the uh, cationic anionic or coordination mechanism i will show it here the coordination mechanism for this so oxygen uh, double bond o that is ch3 here ch3 and another oxygen and this so ch3 is present here. so this is the actual lactide i have written here 
and then to coordinate just like this the oxygen R H and uh, it will be acid part and the oxygen is SN that is O C T whole 2 and it will be coordinate with this oxygen. So this actually the kind of coordination is occurred via this one. So this is one another isomer. The another isomer the R stands for uh, growing of the polymer chain. So here is R stands for growing of polymer chain. Polymer chain. So this is step is repeat again and again and this will be equilibrated with the structure and written here I have to be remove it the space is very small that's why I can write this uh, second structure here so in these cases it will be forms this one that is C double bond O and the O is present here then CH3 now it will be C double bond O and O is bonded with the SN O C T whole 2 octile whole 2 and here that is C double bond O C H3 and O R. So this will be forms and the steps are repeats again and again. And that steps are repeats again and again and we got the corresponding polymer which can be written as RO that will be C H3 and this unit will be repeat again and again that is O so this unit will be written again and again so the CH3 C double bond O this will be CH3 C double bond O and the step will be repeat again and again O then that is CH3 and now will be C double bond O and OH so this will be the OH so actually this step will be repeat again and again and you will got the corresponding polymer is here so this is actually the mechanism how we can prepare a high molecular weight PLS from the corresponding lactide. Lactide was written here. So now we come to give a flow chart to produce uh, the uh, high molecular weight PLS from starch. So, Previously, I told you starch is also a biopolymer, bio starch and cellulose. So, by from starch, you can prepare the corresponding L-lactic acid. Uh, so, what is the structure of starch here? Structure is a polymer. So, this can start from here. That is, this unit will be repeat again and again. And we will got the corresponding. This one is the actually cyclic ring of the glucose. And this unit is OH, so this unit is whole and this unit is repeat again and again and these are all our equatorial and the CH2 group should be here, CH2OH. This another uh, CH2 group is present here, this is also equatorial, this is actually called this starch here, which is also a biopolymer. So now on the enzymic hydrolysis, okay, enzymic hydrolysis. It will give the corresponding glucose here. So, what is the structure of glucose? Uh, this is the structure of glucose here. This is cyclic compound. So, OH will be here, and all of these are in uh, equatorial form. So, this will be the glucose. Actually, I have written here the D glucose. This is the glucose. And in beta form, as they have OH is this side, you see. Now get the fermentation that is bacterial fermentation. Bacterial fermentation. Bacterial fermentation. It will produce as the corresponding L lactic acid. Okay. So by this way you can prepare first L lactic acid from this one. So this is the L lactic acid. The above the plane is OH and hydrogen and of course this will be CO2H and this is CH3. So it is called the L lactic acid. <coughs> and 
it will be A, and B, and C. So it will be A cell. So you know that this will be A cell nickel carbon carbon gas. And this is now gives the condensation. For what? Condensation. For the production of lactide or the low molecular via lactide of course which is the forms the corresponding low molecular as per the preparation of by the prepared by the carothers so it will give the corresponding low molecular weight so c double bond four and this c is three is present here and this unit will be repeated again and again so it will give the low molecular weight So this is the first method, the low molecular of polymer, and then it will be depolymerization. Depolymerization to produce the corresponding lactide. So that is O, 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 and this will be as it is L lactide. So this will be the uh, this three here and we got the corresponding SS lactide. Yes or no? We already discussed this one. So called the L lactide is produced here. Now, if I carry out this L lactide uh, in the ring opening formation of the polymerization, solvent free ring opening polymerization. So now this step is solvent free. Ring opening polymerization, solvently ring opening polymerization in the presence of catalyst which produces the corresponding high molecular weight PLS. So it gives the high molecular weight PLS. That depends on the number of N here. That's why I repeat CH3 will be here. CH3 here and this one is whole n. So difference between them n is different here. Uh, number of n increases, so this will be. So this is all about your chemistry behind the um, formation of polylactic acid. Now what is the use of this one and why these are actually called the biopolymer? Okay. So BASF, there is a company who first uh, another involved this uh, introduced this PLA. That is BASF, BASF uh, developed a compostable polymer called the Ecoflex. That's why the brand name was there, Eco and then Flex. Eco for the eco-friendly and Flex for the seat or like structure. That's what it's called. The bag made from such polymers are PR resistant, puncture resistant, and waterproof, printable, and elastic. So all the Properties of plastics are present in this PLS. Materials made from this polymer will quickly degrade in the municipal composting system. So uh, it can be easily degraded to the previously told that water and carbon dioxide. That's why this one is called the bio polymer. So what is the use of this one? So utility of the PLS. So next on the utility of the PLA. <coughs> so this was first used in the combination with polyglycolic acid in the uh, sutre materials like seam used in surgery which was sold under the name Vicryl. That is after the, after the uh, surgery then it will be stapled by some seam that is made by PLA. Uh, combination with the polyglycolic acid. This PLA is compostable and widely applicable plastic made from corn. It is a biodegradable polymer. It is often used in the food handling and the medical implants that is biodegradable within body with the time. So it is for make for medical uh, objects like bone screw, like bone screw, sutre surgical staples and tissue scaffolding. One most important utility of using PLA is that it produces lesser amount of carbon dioxide than the hydrocarbon based 
polymer. Because corn from which is lactic acid was produced consumed carbon dioxide during growth. So the net emission of carbon dioxide is calculated as total emission of carbon dioxide from cradle that is corn to shipping gate that is PLA minus the amount of carbon dioxide consumed during the production of corn. That is using this one how much carbon dioxide is eliminated and after preparation of the corn how much carbon dioxide is consumed. The difference uh, is uh, negative here, so it can be used as a sink for the carbon dioxide. So it is a um, greenhouse gas, so that can be lowered by using this PLA instead of the uh, polymer based on hydrocarbon based polymer. So PLA has a unique properties like good appearance, glossy, printable and high mechanical strength, high solubility oil and grease resistant and low, toxic, low toxicity. High barrier properties have broadened in applicants to act as a donor, act as a order and flavor barrier. Barrier means uh, the quantity of gas that can transmit through the polymer per unit time and unit area. So all of these are in favor of this one and can be used as a food packaging material and also in the uh, medical purpose or medical instrument. What are the disadvantages? The disadvantage of this PLA are it is thermally unstable and exhibit rapid loss of molecular weight. It decomposes below its uh, melting temperature and can be, which can be explained by considering the several chemical processes like thermal and hydrogel uh, degradation are occurs there for their ester function. So oxidative degradation in presence of air and moisture. Uh, that is depolymerization and transesterification, etc. Occurs here. That's why it will be. Only disadvantage is thermally unstable and activates rapid loss of this molecular. So this is all about your this part. Uh, we meet again.